good evening and uh, I'm back after a couple of days especially with a beautiful book a gem of a book and the name of this book is Answers from Heaven the near-death experiences of Rene E. Passero. Uh, ever since I heard it was one of the first near-death experiences that I came across and ever since I heard Rene speaking I think there are only two uh, videos on the YouTube both over an hour and the moment you hear them they transform you and I was looking for the book uh, and it was with a lot of difficulty that I found it on Amazon and thanks Amazon for that and uh, as you can see the moment I got the book I started reading rereading it and making a lot of markings I like to have my own book and I like to mark in my own way you know, that is the best way to feel in personal contact with a book so here I was and uh, this experience led Rini to explore the Baha'i faith. Now, uh, uh, according to near-death experiences, we are born in the faith in which we will grow spiritually more. And uh, especially uh, Dr. George Ritchie's beautiful near-death experience, where he says Jesus showed him in the highest spiritual realms different monks engaged in reading scriptures of different religions just to know or just to understand how they felt about the supreme truth in different ways different meanings different cultures so yes uh, it would be nice if the listeners here also could explain uh, could experience uh, the or read and learn from the scriptures of other religions uh, not merely their own so, but uh, this experience, Rene's experience, is a beautiful testimony uh, to, the, to the heavenly love that we all have in our lives. And especially uh, these words, what she says regarding uh, suffering, that, you know, her suffering, uh, and she was bemoaning uh, to the heavenly beings about her suffering, and then she was given a realization that it is to learn that we suffer and uh, here uh, she came across an uncle of hers and uh, usually uh, we have a, on earth we have a very judgmental view of people dealing with addictions but she says that this is uh, one of the most uh, beautiful things I read about in her experience and she says that in heaven she came to realize that the people who were most important were often the ones we might consider to be the least important in this world consider someone who has fought hard to overcome an addiction such a person might not be looked upon favorably in this world for having an addiction however the tremendous struggle the strength and the courage that it took to overcome the powerful hold of addiction is viewed as quite admirable in the next world here we often judge people negatively for the challenges which they face rather than by character fortitude and courage they develop from facing and overcoming those immense challenges now this is something that only a true near-death experience uh, experiencer can explain regarding addictions and uh, being totally non-judgmental and so she came across her uncle and she realized how courageous he was in fact other uh, spiritual books for example the laws of the spirit world also states that somebody on earth uh, who, whom we might not care to look at twice might actually be a very highly regarded or a highly powerful spiritual being in the spiritual realms so uh, she says i discovered that what was not important were the things in which we normally take greater pride in this world like what i own what i had learned intellectually the awards i had received status none of these really mattered so in fact even those people who encountered higher beings or jesus or whatever the being of light uh, takes a particular you know they always ask what have you done for me 
what have you done to show me in the sense uh, all these things are uh, really uh, not at all taken into consideration how you lived your life what cars you had how many homes you had and all these things and that's why uh, it's not necessary whether you live a longer life or shorter life because ultimately it doesn't matter so uh, just let me read few more words she says what will the uh, even more important than just the choices or my motivations intentions and the state of my heart if an action is loving that action touches the first person for whom it was intended then it touches another person and then another a purely loving act was the most wonderful thing i could ever have achieved in my life this was much more meaningful than if i had won a nobel prize or had been the wealthiest person on the planet or had even become the president of the united states i actually felt my loving actions reverberate through the persons they were intended for and this is something which we also come across in Howard Storm's near death experience where for him Jesus the being of light which appears as Jesus tells him that i don't want you to build big shrines or anything for me what i want you to do is to love the person you are with or love one another because when you love that person that person will go and love another person and that person will go and love another person though it is a very difficult thing to do but this is what uh, god wants us and howard storm says that yes to love somebody who is uh, very close to us is easy but how to love someone who is very nasty but that is what is required of us so uh, i would uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't uh, like to spoil you know every person should read these books by these books by themselves and realize that happiness that they can give or the wisdom that they can impart and be enriched by them so i think this is a beautiful uh, short introduction to the book and i hope you will get this book from amazon's answers from heaven thank you very much